My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, gang stopped, electrocuted, irradiated, poisoned, uh, and infected and infested with synthetic biology and the Morgellons protocol of synergistic cross domain bacteria, viruses, parasites. And it's only by the grace of God that I'm speaking to you now. Uh, it's been a while since I've said much. And I apologize for any of you who worried. Thank you. Uh, I've just really been going through a lot. Very sick and... I live in this really loud, noisy place. Um, uh, I wanted to mention that, unfortunately, unfortunately, our best friend and cat, Max, who we love dearly and miss terribly, died due to complications from his illness, ascetis, which is this pericardial space that gets filled with fluid and bloating, and he was covered in things that, in Morgellons creatures that we couldn't wash off. Um, it happened so fast, like within less than two weeks he was sick and then dead. And because he had feline leukemia virus, I couldn't get, find a vet or, or, or charity that was willing to pay for him because they had already wanted to put him to sleep a year ago. And, uh, I didn't want to put him to sleep because I knew he, he deserved more life and and he had as much as he could get and you know I feel honestly I feel like such a piece of shit because I couldn't save him I couldn't save him 
and all I could really do was which is what he really wanted, I guess, was for me to be there. Because on the day that he died, on Thursday, a little before 4.30, I came into the room and he was stuck in the litter box. He, he couldn't get out and he was, you know, crying. He was silent until I came into the room and crying, 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 and I picked him up out of the litter box and looked him over and I was thinking maybe I'll give him a bath to wash some of this yellow stuff that came out of him from both ends when his organs failed and and he was quiet for a minute I gave him some buprenorphine that we had for cats from his last visit he gagged a little but you know but then he started crying horribly and trying to pull himself across the floor to get to where I was, but he couldn't go in the right direction. And so I went and picked him up and he was quiet for a few minutes, laying on the floor. I was petting him and crying. And and then he began to, you know, he died. He had seizures for a moment and, and he screamed like a human being. My poor sweet Max screamed so loud like a person and I've never heard anything like it and dear God, you know and all I could do was pet him and say there, there I love you and you know, crying and and then he had a few more seizures and I watched his, his little eyes go and then he was gone and and I couldn't tell if he was dead or not because he started making all these weird gurfling sounds inside and and because of all the things in my eyes, everything is going yeah, so it all looks alive anyway. And, and I'm crying and screaming, dear God, please take this little soul that you created and spare him any more pain. And uh, he was lucky, I guess, in that he really didn't suffer too much. He didn't cry a lot, thank God. He only cried that moment, and I mean, you could see in his eyes that he knew, and just, you know, feeding him like milk with sugar from a spoon, and he would purr so loud in this gravelly, I can't really purr kind of voice. He was, oh God, you know, and I, I had this Rife machine which is this frequency device that's supposed to be able to kill parasites and stuff. And, and these people were, were so blessed to send it to me. And unfortunately, the, the people screwed around with me, the, the male people or the watchers or whatever, and I didn't get it for like an extra month. And, and you know, so we didn't have time to treat Max. We gave him the, the, the natural remedies and the, the baking soda and the, the apple cider vinegar, I mean, what are you doing, man? And, and uh, so when we finally got the thing, uh, he was, he was good enough, you know, to sit there. He was, uh, he let me put the clips on his ears over and over to try to get the, the pulse, which didn't work with him. And then he would sit there on the, on the little treatment metal holding things. I put him under him, he would lie there and let me run the full cat leukemia and parasites and support and he sat there for hours, he was perfectly happy to, but then the next day he died and so I wrapped him up in a couple of towels and left his little head sticking out after crying a lot and taking some more pictures and because the weirdest thing about this is that when he died I saw something on him that I'd never seen before, which is all around his mouth. Well, first some black goo came out of his nose. And some stuff came off his lips and his tongue because he was so dehydrated and had these black parasites in his lips that wouldn't come out. And, but these things on his lips started glowing. I was recording him. And, but, it would get 
anyway, I, and I saw this flashing and this yellow sparkling light, not only when the sun came in, but when he died, these things blew yellowish golden for a moment. And then they stopped when he died. They didn't glitter or glisten anymore, but you could see them on his face. And anyway, so I wrapped him and I put him in a box and Pedro and I wrote our, our goodwill, goodbye, we love you messages all over the box. And, and I took it to a, a vacant lot that we walked by every day and, and attempted to bury him. I broke the shovel that I bought because the lot was filled with gravel and I didn't get him deep underground, but... You know, I put a, a, a headstone there and I put his little food bowl and filled it with food and gave him some water said a prayer and now everywhere I look I see him in the house we see him in the corners every pocketbook purse or bag every shuffling thing from the wind every sound sounds like a meow and I don't know what to think thanks for watching God bless you yeah.